Hello everyone, welcome to the Edu Avenue's DJ Test Prep YouTube channel. Through our YouTube videos, we hope students gain a better understanding of how to approach and solve different types of math problems seen on the TJ Problem Solving exam. Even if you got the problem right, watch this video as you can learn helpful problem solving strategies that you can then apply to other problems. If you want to learn more about our services, please visit tjtestprep.com. Today, we will be going over the real math and science problem solving essay solution from the 2020 TJ admissions test. Again, this is the actual essay prompt and complete solution for the TJ admissions test, which was administered in 2020. All right, so before doing anything else, please watch the following videos to get a better understanding of using the Pythagorean theorem, ratios, proportions, percent change, and slope. The links are in the description as well. Now, on to the problem. So the prompt was, a popular road in California is famous for its steepness and turns. It has been filmed for many car chases. In 1920, the builder decreased the slope from 27% to 14% to fit a 12 through 15% highway requirement. What is the difference between the length of the old road and the new road if the height of the hill is 600 feet? What is the percent increase? Pause the video now to try and solve this problem on your own before we go over it together. All right, so first we can start by creating a framework. Our first step would be to draw a diagram and this can help us visualize the problem. And then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to complete ratios of psi lengths. And then we can convert these ratios to actual measurements with units. And then our fourth, and then our fourth step would be to compute the final ratio using the measurements that we got from step three. And then finally, we can dis discuss assumptions, and these are basically contextual elements that affect our final answer. So the first step is to draw a diagram that can help us solve this problem. From the prompt, we know that the slope of the new road decreased from 27% to 14% to fit a highway requirement. And we also know that the height of the hill is 600 feet. So using this, this information, we can draw two right triangles like this, one that represents the old road and one that represents the new road. The triangle of the old road is drawn in red, while the triangle of the new road is drawn in blue. Using our knowledge of the Pythagorean theorem, we can substitute the value of A and B to find C. We know some of the values for the ratio of A to B to C, the ratio of th the side lengths of the triangle for the old road and new road. Given that we know our B values, which are 14 and 27, we can find our A values because we know that there's a 14% and 27% ratio for our new road and old roads, respectively. Our B value comes out to be 100 each. Therefore, the ratio for the old road is 100 to 27 to C. And the ratio for the new road is 100 to 14 to C. The next step is to solve for the C value using the Pythagorean theorem. From the old road, we know that we can do 100 squared plus 27 squared is equal to c squared. And then we can solve this equation and get that c squared is equal to 10,729. After finding the uh, square root of 10,729, which is 103.58, we can round it up to 104 for simplicity. And we can continue the same process for the new road and get 100 squared plus 14 squared is equal to c squared. And once again, if we solve that, we will get c is equal to 100.98, which again, we can round up to 101 for simplicity. For the length of the old road, the hypotenuse, we have 104. 
and for the new road, we have 101. Keep in mind that these are not the actual measurements, they are just written up in ratios. In the next step, we will set up actual proportions to find the actual slopes in feet. So now, the ratio for the old road is 100 to 27 to 104, and the ratio for the new road is 100 to 14 to 101. Our third step is to convert these ratios into actual measurements using different proportions for the old road and for the new road. We know that the measurement corresponding to the height, or B, for both the old road and the new road is 600 feet, which is given by the problem. We can use that measurement to find the hypotenuse for our old road and the new road. So for the old road, we have 600 feet divided by 27 is equal to uh, old road over 104. That will be our proportion for the old road. And for our new road, we would have 600 feet divided by 14 is equal to the new road in feet over 101. And if we cross multiply, we would get that the old road is equal to uh, 200 or 2,311 feet. And for the new road, we would have 4,329 feet if we cross multiply and solve for the new road. So finally, we have to find the percent increase between the two slopes. We can accomplish this by using the percent change formula. So the percent change is equal to the new value minus the old value, divide that whole quantity by the old value, and then multiply by 100. If the number is positive, then there was an increase, and if the number was negative, then there was a decrease. So for this problem, we know we are finding for a percent increase because it's stated by the problem. So basically what we can do is subtract the old road length, which is 2,311, by the new road length, which is 4,300. 29, and then div divide that whole quantity by 2,311, which is the old road length. And then lastly, we can multiply that whole thing by 100. And then that would give us 87% increase in the two slopes. And that would be our answer. So every problem has a set of contextual elements that can be detailed further and these may impact the results of our problem. And we like to call these assumptions. If you have any additional time in the end, you may detail these further as needed. So here are some examples of assumptions for this problem. Our first one would be that roads are rarely one straight line. They often have, they often have peaks and curves. In our solution, we make the assumption that it is one straight road. And also, we rounded our proportions in step 3 for simplicity. In reality, when working with large numbers, this rounding can have a significant effect. And this must be recognized and stated clearly at the end of our solution.